This is reviews from the cutting room floor, where we don't have enough money to bet against the housing market, but we do have enough money to review the uh, best and worst parts of movies we love from last year. This is a review of um, Adam McKay's The Big Short. These people are crooks and should be in prison. There's some shady stuff going down. The housing market is propped up on these bad loans. And if we're right, the whole world economy might collapse. The banks got greedy. We can profit off of their stupidity. Do you have any idea what you're up against? I worry about you. If you're wrong, you can lose it all. Now we get to kick them in the teeth. Okay, here we go. The Big Short. Rated R. Uh, I absolutely loved the movie. thought everything about it was awesome. I thought that the acting was spot on. Like, some of the things that they covered in it, like, me as not like a financial person, I felt like it made it simple enough that I did understand just how extremely crooked the big banks and everybody was during this whole housing market collapse. I, I think that might be where I, where I have to first disagree with you on uh, my first, because me, I, I think it was a good movie. I just didn't like it as much as you seem to have to enjoy it. Um, I don't know if it made it simple enough. I don't know if a lot of people will be able to follow, you know, if people go to see the see our review and see if they want to see it. I don't know if they're going to. I mean, like, I don't, I don't, I don't see what was, it was pretty cut and dry. Like, they were giving people loans that they couldn't, they, they had no possible way of actually paying for and they were giving them multiple loans. And they, it was so hilarious, like the way that they were playing it out. I remember the, the for example, the scene with the, uh, what was he, she, I guess he was a stripper. And she had like six different properties. Like, so a lot of these people that we're seeing every day that are out here living this baller lifestyle were really just, it was all fake. And yeah, we saw the end of it. But I mean, I think even the movie wasn't really all that costly. So they kept cutting away. You know, they had that scene with uh, her in that bathtub. It wasn't Scarlett Johansson, but it was. Uh, I, I'm just going to call her Scarlett. She was a, a fine woman in the bathtub. I'm just going to call her Scarlett Johansson. Because, <laughs> yeah, but um, I, I feel like the movie itself wasn't confident in its really ability to explain the more complicated elements of it. And frankly, I think that even at this talk about that, it was not, it was a non-standard movie. I think a lot of people are going to not just, it's not what they're used to. I don't think they're gonna enjoy it. But I think that's a, I think that's refreshing. The fact that it's something that they're not used to and that it comes at a subject, not like a Michael Moore type documentary where, you know, you're just hitting you over the head with propaganda, propaganda, propaganda. This is like actually like what happened, but they just made it so entertaining for me. And I, I don't know, like if I had a vote, I would, I'd probably give it every award that I possibly could. Like from the acting itself, like Steve Carroll, I never thought I would see him play a role like that, ever. Like he's forever branded as the 40 year old version to me. Like, like forever, for life. And to see him like cussing and being like an asshole, like I, I he, he lost his job. Yeah. But I mean, even that, I felt like it was a bit like, if I, if I look up videos of actual that, is he gonna be that angry? Is because Steve Carell not oversell that a bit? It didn't, most people, not yeah, Christian Bale. I don't know if this is, is this guy really that awkward. Is he really? Because he had a wife, he had a child. I mean, this may be a bit skewed. I think this movie may have you know played it up some for. It might have been better served as a documentary. You know, I think you can still go back and make a documentary off of it. But like. The we don't pay money to go see a movie like this one, like that we that we paid to go see, and pay to be bored. Like there has to be some type of embellishment on it at some point in time. I I just don't. I didn't think that they made it a lot. I, it, it seemed like it was the true story. It was just it was just extremely entertaining. Yeah, um, and they took a very bold choice to make it a comedy. I mean, you hear Adam McKay, you know, if you're familiar with his work, he is. This is the most serious thing he's done. And I don't know if a lot of people are going to appreciate that they made it a comedy. This, this hit everybody. Oh. I mean, I, I'm not a fan of trigger warning, but some of you might need to be, you might get walked out of their mad. Yeah. They made fun of something that might have hit you pretty hard. Yeah, they did. Yeah. That, I, I, I guess from that point of view, yeah, I understand. Like, they made light of a very serious subject matter. But that was what, eight years ago? That, that's reviews from the cutting room floor.